by William Turvel for the Mail on Sunday published 1716 est the 16th of December 2017 updated 0846 est the 17th of December 2017 hedge fund billionaire Sir Christopher Hahn looks set to suffer an embarrassing defeat this week, as shareholders in the London Stock Exchange are expected to vote against his attempts to topple the chairman. Hahn, who heads up the Children's Investment Fund TCI, has forced the LSE to hold a shareholder meeting to vote on whether to oust Donald Britton this Tuesday. A number of large shareholders, including BlackRock, have indicated they will support Britain, making victory for Han highly unlikely. He is now planning to crank up the pressure to oust the chairman at the LSE's annual general meeting next spring. Set for defeat Christopher Hahn of the Children's Investment Fund, she is also understood to have asked the LSE's interim chief executive David Warren for a meeting either this week or in early January. Han wanted to unseat Britain and to reinstate Xavier Rollet as the stock exchange's chief executive. Rollet initially announced plans to step down in 2018. Following an intervention by Bank of England Governor Mark Carney, he resigned with immediate effect last month. It would take a 50% vote to force Britain out. Having previously been confident of achieving this, Han is now understood to be hoping for a strong protest vote. Other shareholders are reluctant to oust the chairman due to the risk it would leave the stock exchange rudderless when it has just parted with its chief executive. The Treasury yesterday said it would speed up a project to tie the London Stock Exchange to the Shanghai Stock Exchange, helping investors access both markets, as part of wider plans to build up economic relations with China.